Hey, hey, it's Tuba Billy heading home. Beautiful, beautiful day. It's like 81 degrees. Oh man, I can't get much better than this. Well, I mean, I guess it could be uh, less pollen, but oh well, take what you can get, right? But hey, in the news, uh, I saw that, uh, well, this is a couple days ago now, the, uh, there was a shooting in San Francisco. Um, a bunch of the news outlets are labeling this as a mass shooting. You guys you know, more than one person was killed and injured. However, as they're describing it, it's like there's multiple shooters. Um, you know, and then other people are injured. It's like, oh, that, this sounds more like a, a shootout than a mass shooting. You know, typically when a mass shooting happens, it's you know, one person trying to cause as many casualties as they can. This looks like it's just is gang members. Or, you know, two people who had a beef with each other decided to, you know, duke it out Wild West style and have a shootout. Um, not a mass shooting. So that that makes a big difference when you talk about gun control because the word mass shooting or words phrase mass shooting um has a lot of political connotations right now and it's kind of like a kind of like a beacon for all of the gun control freaks to come out and say oh another mass shooting we need to blah blah blah, blah. well here is what biden said about the shooting and i'm not going to try to quote it but Basically that, um, yeah, we need to have, you know, background checks for all guns. We need to ban assault weapons, ban high capacity magazines, ban this, ban that. Well, guess what? Um, California has some of the strictest gun control laws in this, in the country. Um, and all of those things that you just spouted off, Biden, they're already in place in California, and yet this shooting still happened. So it just proves the point that gun control does absolutely nothing. But if it could save one life, no, it, it can't. If there's a bad guy going to commit a crime with a gun, he's going to find a way to commit a crime with a gun. The only way to prevent gun violence is to confiscate all guns in existence, melt them down, and so there are no, that nobody has guns anywhere. That's the only way. And then, you know, we'll see, we've seen it in uh, the UK. Uh, they're talking about banning knives now because there's a knife killing spree. Um, it just, it, the gun control lobbyists will never stop. They, they always say, oh, common sense gun control, implying that there's a limit, right? It's just, it's just common sense. Well, they've already proven that. That they won't stop when it's beyond common sense. You know, they pass some gun control laws and then another shooting happens. Oh, we need to pass more gun control laws. Another shooting happens. We need to pass even more gun control laws. Um, and before you know it, we have no more Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is the only amendment that says the word shall not be infringed. I had a, I had a I want to call him a friend, an acquaintance, tell me that the, the when it says a well-regulated militia, it talks about gun regulations. No. No, 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 no. Well-regulated militia means you're well-trained, yes. But doesn't mean you regulate the guns um and then the other argument of oh well, the second amendment was written about muskets you know not the not the high capacity magazines and 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 assault weapons that we have now well guess what the first amendment was written with a quill and a pen a quill uh, you know qu 
quill and ink. Um, so does that not apply to text messages? Does that not apply to social media? Well, they're kind of showing that it doesn't because they want to keep banning all the all these different things that disagree with the narrative. Um, but it just goes to show that their their stances are, are not tenable. They cannot stand up to scrutiny because they are narrative based. They are emotion based. They do not stand up to facts. They do not stand up to statistics. You know, Biden is mighty proud that he got the assault weapons ban when he was in Congress. Well, um, studies have shown that did absolutely nothing um, for the for the gun rights. Uh, the, I mean, the fact that the FBI does not even have a category for assault rifles. It's just rifles. Um, and guess what? It's not the biggest killer out there. Um, like handguns? Maybe shotguns or even more? Um, and you know, Biden's the one saying, you don't need an AR. Go out with a double barrel shotgun. Fire off two blasts. <laughs> oh, Biden. Bless your heart. You have no idea what you're talking about. And now, now we also have a bit of a war trying to run for uh, Texas governor and saying, yeah, he wants to have a, you know, buyback of everyone's AR-15s and AK-47s, uh, the so-called assault rifles. Um, yeah, no, that's not going to happen, especially in Texas. Texas loves their guns. It's, it's so, you know, the, the left, they, they talk in an echo chamber, right? They talk to themselves. They get feedback from people who spout the same narrative as them, and they think that everybody agrees with them because that's all that they surround themselves with. Well, and the media too. The media is founded off. It's just ridiculous when I'd say a majority of Americans don't agree with all of that. I mean, when when you are when our sitting president says no amendment is absolute, and one of them says shall not be infringed, you're a special kind of stupid. So, again, with any other mandates, I will not comply. I'm not going to tell you what guns I have. That's none of your business. If anybody comes knock on my door, that's none of their business. Oh, man, it's a messed up world. And you know what's a big deterrent to... Um, tyranny guns the fact that there are more guns per capita in the, in the United States than any other uh, nation in the world <clears throat> we have the largest standing military or standing militia if anyone invades my gosh we've got our trained military then we've got all these rednecks <laughs> and hunters and everything else that willing to go and um, defend their country, defend their way of life, defend their values. It's a freaking four-way stop, people. Please remember to be excellent to each other. Tuba Billy, signing out. God be with you till we meet again.